Atmospheric Water Generations Technology has developed a water generator that is able to produce over 900 gallons of fresh, clean water a day pulled right out of the atmosphere. We speak to Moses West, CEO of AWG Technology, and discuss their biggest innovative water generator that has the power to rely solely on humidity. Uh, AWG Technology is a company that I started uh, a few years ago, and basically what I was doing was I was looking for a way to provide water to the people of Texas because I knew that climate change and global warming was something that was happening very rapidly. It's getting close to the point where it's, it's like groundwater. See, when you take a, um, say if you come in and you put in a well and you drill it down and you start pulling, you're dependent on the level of the water in the ground, okay? But in, the, in South Texas, along the Gulf Coast, we have so much humidity in the atmosphere, you can't just pull your well up and take it with you wherever you want to go. But here's a machine that can produce 30,000 gallons of water a month that you can just close up and move it as you need it. We have the 5,000 liter unit, the AWG 5000, which is operating continuously. It hasn't been off, okay? I have a two smaller units uh, called the AWG 250s and I haven't even installed those yet and then I have built uh, two more brand new units the efficient ones the most efficient and uh, they're in Spain right now and we're shipping them here to the United States. The machine uh, the air that comes through comes in a certain volume we pull the air pull the water off and blow that out and then around the area of the machine, uh, the water that we produced, we just dumped it right back out. So basically what we did on a day when you would have no rain for two or three weeks, we would produce a few thousand gallons and just spray it around the area that we were in. So we made our own little environment. Uh, we're po I'm probably pulling about uh, on a very good day when the humidity is extremely high, and the temperature is high, the machine will actually power down because it doesn't have to work so hard to pull out that moisture. So the lowest number that I got for one liter of water was 0.08 kilowatts per liter. On the testing there, we averaged about 0 0.15, 0 0.16 per liter. The new machines that we build, they operate under 0 0.10 constantly, so 0 0.08. So the numbers that you have for that, machine that we that proved the uh, concept with here in the United States is just, uh, it was just to prove that it could be done that efficiently. The idea to make it mobile was for the military. Whenever there's a disaster, say the last hurricane that hit, there's a, right now there's a horrific situation going on in Haiti. They have absolutely no water. Everyone's walking around saying we don't have any water but it's 80 to 90% humid, humidity, and it's 80 to 90 degrees. You're walking around in your water, okay? With this machine, having it mobile, whenever there's a disaster, water's the first thing that goes. And say if you, you start flying water in military aircraft, you're talking 100 to $200,000 an hour just to fly that aircraft there. With these units, if you took the units the way they sit in the 20-foot ISO container, pull it out, it's self-contained, it'll operate for five days by itself, it'll cut on and off automatically, once it's full it'll cut off, people pull water out of it, it'll, it'll start up again, okay? So the mobility aspect of it is basically for disaster relief. If we have those, say during Hurricane Katrina, if we would have had say 100 or 200 of these units, forwardly deployed, closed up, fueled up, not operating, just sealed up. When the hurricane hit, and after everything finally settled down, you pull these units out, start them up, and each unit, the new units, will be producing 2,000 gallons of water daily for the population. San Antonio fits into this. I, I graduated from college here, and uh, when I had to get this idea off the ground, I had to go someplace where I knew how to get around, okay? I know my state, I joined the military here, 
and uh, I, I knew how to uh, to get this this process moving. I am a certified U.S. Army Ranger, class 1481. I joined the military here as an infantry officer for three years before I became a pilot. I became a test pilot, so taking aircraft apart, front to back, putting them together, taking them out and flying them and hoping they didn't come apart. And so I went to school here at Fort Sam Houston in San Antonio. And this is where I decided to do it. This is where I feel more comfortable. And this is where there's a great group of very well-educated people that would understand what AWG technology is all about and what we do. And that's the reason that we've had so much success so far is because you've got to find the forward-thinking people to move this technology forward. Enough damage has been done to the ocean already with, with pollutants, plastics, and everything that we do to the planet. We need to start thinking of new technologies moving into the future that are eco-friendly, that sustain us without damaging our environment any more than it's already damaged. And so this technology around the world, say in India right now, in Africa, in Haiti, places where you would have to bring water in in tankers. Why? When we're sitting, we're, we're actually sitting in all the water that we will ever need because we, with technology, we can now farm the atmosphere for the, for the most abundant source, cleanest source of water that hasn't been touched. We walk around, we breathe it all day, and we're fine. This water is absolutely fantastic. The uh, LCRA has done all our water tests and we far exceed federal guidelines for water quality, far exceed EPA standards. To learn more, visit awgtechnology.us.